Hello everyone. In this video, we will explain how to integrate Jasta Report Server and Scalable Query Engine on Kubernetes cluster. Our agenda is deploying Jasta Report Server and Scalable Query Engine on Kubernetes cluster. Here we have two methods to integrate JRS with SQE. One is deploying both JRS and SQE in a single go. And the second option is deploying both JRS and SQE separately and integrating them. To achieve this, we need four images. That is Jasper Server Buildomatic and Jasper Server Web App for JRS, Scalable Query Engine and Scalable Query Engine drivers for SQE. I hope you have already created the images. If not, please check the video creating Docker images for Jasper Report Server where we have explained various scenarios for creating the images. At the end of the video, we also covered how to create images for Scalable Query Engine. Let's see the first scenario in the demo. This is JS Docker repository. Navigate to Jaspersoft container. Here, uh, navigate to KTS JRS. These are the prerequisites and here you can find all the steps for the deployment. Before creating images, make sure you have updated scalable query engine value as true in .env file. By default, it is false. Here, go to Jaspersoft containers, docker, JRS. This is the .env file. Here, make it as true. And also we need to update the DB host value with your repository host name. So here go to resources, default properties, default master properties. In my case, I'm using Postgres SQL in the same cluster and the name we set for it as repository. So I'm using this as my DB value. I have already created my images. You can see the images using docker images command. These are the four images which I have created for this deployment. My Kubernetes cluster is in AWS. So we need to push these images to is your repository. Now we need to create the repository. Click on create repository. Here enter the name of the repository. I'm giving repository name as BK test. And then click on create repository. Here you can see the repository has been created. Here you can see no images in the repository right now. Click on view push command. These are the steps you need to follow to push the images into the repository. This is the command to connect to your repository. Now I am running this command to connect to the ECR. Here you can see that login is succeed. Now we need to Flag the image and push it into the repository. This is the command to tag your image. So now we need to tag these four images and then push them into the repository. Here I mentioned the image name and the version and here is the tag. Now I have tagged all these four images. Now we need to push them into the repository. This is the command to push the images into the repository. Now I'm pushing the images into the repository. Here you can see the image has been pushed successfully. Now I'm pushing SQE driver's image into the repository. Now I'm pushing web app image into the repository. 
Now build a matic. I have pushed all the four images into the ECR repository. Now you can see these images in ECR. Here you can see the images. Now, now we need to update image name and tag name in the values.ml file and also under integrating the scalable query engine and Jasper report server session, you can find the steps here for the integration. Here we need to make scalable query engine as true in values.ml so that we can install both SQE and JRS in a single go. Render KTS, JRS, Helm. This is the values.ml file. Here I have updated JRS web application image name and tag name. We need to update buildomatic image name and tag name, scalable query engine image name and tag name, and scalable query engine drivers image name and tag name. Here I updated buildomatic image and tag name. And also make sure scalable query engine enabled is true. Here I updated the driver's image name and tag name. After making all these changes, place your license file under this path, Jaspersoft container, KTS, JRS, Helm, Secrets, License Path. I have placed my license file here. This is the license file. After placing the license file in license path, we need to generate the keys. Run this command to generate the key store. Once the keys has been generated, place these keys under both JRS and SQE key store path. I have placed the keys under JRS, Helm, secret key store as well as under scalable query engine helm secrets key store after placing the keys in key store path go to this ktus path and run these commands to add dependency chart repositories now i am under ktus path and i am running this command Now the repositories has been added. Now run this command to update the Helm dependencies. Here dependencies has been updated successfully. Also update SQE dependencies as well. Now both SQE and JRS dependencies has been updated. Run this command to install PostgreSQL database. Here you can see Postgres has been installed. Here you can see PostgreSQL pod is up and running. Now we need to install JRS. Run this command to install JRS. Here you can see JRS has been installed. Now we need to run this command to get JRS application URL. Here is the application URL. Here is the login page. Now I am able to log into the application. Here you can see the version. I have installed 8.2.0 version. These are the running ports of the successful deployment. Now we can check scalable query engine logs. Let's create one sample ad hoc dashboard that will reflect in SQE logs. Now go to create dashboards.
here you can see the logs are reflecting in SQE. This is how we deploy both JRS and SQE on single go. The next scenario will be explained by Divya. Divya, over to you. Thank you, Bittu. I'll now discuss the second method for deploying JRS and SQE separately and then integrating them. So, as explained in the first method, you'll find each and every step of the deployment in the readme file which is present under JS Docker repository. As we are deploying JRS and SQE separately, let's deploy JRS first. And here are the prerequisites for the same. As we know, for Jasper report server, we'll require two images, that is Jasper server web app and Jasper server build mat. If you want to know how to create these images, please refer the video creating Docker image for Jasper report server. As I have already created the images, let's have a look. Additionally, as previously noted in the initial method, please ensure that you update the DB host value in the default master properties file and the scalable query engine enabled parameter in the env file. Once the images are built, we now need to tag and push these images into the ECR. As noted in the initial approach, I have already created an ECR, tagged the images and pushed them. Now, let's have a look. Now, the next step is to update values.yaml file with the tag and name of the images. As outlined in the initial method, I have already made changes to the values.yaml file. Let's check it. Now, the next step is to place your obtain license and key store in their respective folders. As explained in the initial method, I have already placed my license and key store in their respective folders. So, let's have a look. Once the key store and license are placed, we now have to add dependency chart repositories. Now, the next step is to update the help dependencies. Once the dependencies have been updated, 
we now have to install the Postgres SQL chart. As you can see, the Postgres SQL chart is installed. Once the Postgres SQL is up and running, we now need to install Jasper Report Server. As GRS is installed, we can check the application by running the below two commands. As our Jasper report server is up and running, now we'll install scalable query engine and then integrate them. For deploying scalable query engine, we require two images, that is scalable query engine and scalable query engine drivers. If you want to know in detail, please refer the video creating Docker images for Jasper Report Server. As I have already created the images, let's have a look. Once the images are created, we now need to tag and push both the scalable query engine images to the ECR. As noted in the initial approach, I have already created an ECR, tag the images and push them. Now let's have a look. Now we need to update the values.yaml file with the image and tag name. As outlined in the initial method, I have already made changes to the values.yaml file. Let's check it. Now, the next step is placing your key store in the key store folder. As I have already placed my key store in the key store folder, let's have a look. Once that is done, we now have to update the help dependencies and then install Scalable Query Engine. As the dependencies are being updated, 
Now let's install scalable query in with. Once the SQ is up and running, you can check the application URL by running these two commands. As both GRS and SQE are now installed separately, let's integrate them. First, we need to update the values.yaml file which is present under KTS GRS and set the following parameters. Make sure that the parameter scalable query engine enabled is false and also give the URL of scalable query engine which we generated a minute ago. Next, we need to edit the values.yaml file present at ktest scalable and set GRS host to the ingress external host or IP of deployed Jasper report server ktest cluster. Once the changes are done in both the file, we have to update Jasper Report Server help chart with new configurations. Once Jasper report server is updated, now we have to update scalable query engine with new configurations. Once both GRS and SQE are upgraded, let's log into GRS.
Once the GRS and SQV are integrated, you can also check for SQV logs. Thank you.